Hello there, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Neerav and in this session I'll be doing a lead wave analysis of the S&P 500 and I'll be looking at possible wave progressions for the same. So before moving any further, let's have a look at a bit of a longer picture. So right now on screen I have the daily chart. So as per the daily chart, it seems that we are in a circle third, which is still progressing. So basically this is a complete part of the circle third can be counted in a little bit different way as well but uh, overall it does not have any effect of the fact that we are in a sideways correction which is a type of fourth wave that is we can have a change in degree here but a change in degree does not basically affect our trading strategy so i will not be discussing that part over here we will basically be focusing our discussion over this square fourth wave progression so let's move to the 4 hour chart to have a look at that in the detail. So I'll just like to point out quickly that we have previously discussed this reversal over here. So basically I did count this 5 wave up progression and after that this reversal took place. I think the market was somewhere around here. And at that point my view was that uh, we will be having a movement up to 2410 level however it just went till 2400 and then reversed from there on in general the fourth wave has a tendency to be complex so basically trading it is always a hassle if you are an option player then things would be different but trading it basically in futures is uh, kind of something that is not recommended for beginners at all and you will understand what I mean by that because uh, right now I'll be discussing three basic scenarios that can play out in this fourth wave progression and uh, at the end the result is that uh, the situation is quite confusing or unclear so let's get started so the first scenario that uh, is visible to me over here is that we have this A, B, C leg down completing the zigzag type of correction and it is possible that the double bracketed fourth completed over here okay so this is the first scenario hyper one and if the double bracketed 4 has ended over here then we are progressing for the double bracketed fifth and in that case scenario this would be the first this would be the second and this would be the third okay so if that is the case then within this third we have the first over here, the second over here, the third over here, the fourth is either completed over here or will fall down till this level and then go for the fifth leg over here to complete this third. So this would be our hypo one. And the second thing that I see over here is that uh, this can also be progressing as a triangle kind of formation, you know. So the triangle is basically a 3 3 3 3 3 kind of formation. It looks something like this. So this would be 1, this would be 2, this would be 3 and the triangle would be something like this. So this would be A, B, C and D and E completing the fourth wave for the triangle and then the fifth leg up. So that is how a triangle looks. So let's see how that uh, might be playing out over here. So here you can see we have three legs down over here, completing the A, and then we have what seems to be like, or can be counted like three legs down again, A, B, and C. So this could be that the third leg is somewhere over here. And then we will have again three legs down for the C, up for the D and down for the E. So this can be, you know, taken as a kind of a triangle kind of formation. And once again, situation is just not clear at this point in time. So this triangle would be our hypo 2. So this would be hyper 2 and let's look at the last type of formation that can take place over here, which is a very complex type of formation so let me first discuss that formation over here in the rough area 
so what sometimes happen is that uh, wave 4 can get complex something like this okay so let's say this is the third over here and the fourth comes down in three legs as an A and then gives a very say what complex type of flat correction over here for the B and then goes down as a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and that B is basically a flat in itself which will look something like this so this would be the A leg, this would be the B leg, this would be the C leg and within this B we will again have A, B and C so basically this whole thing is a flat A, B, C but within this flat this B wave is a flat in itself so since B is also a flat it will again have three waves and these are the three waves of the B the A, the B and the C so this overall is quite complex formation and quite difficult to see in real time situations however it looks to me like this can be played uh, out in this market and let's look at how so basically this would be our A this point and then we are basically progressing as a A B C and that would complete our B over here okay and then we will go down for this C leg as a 1 2 3 4 5 so this would be the complex kind of scenario over here and let me do a little bit of explanation for the same on this actual chart so this is complex because the first leg down is three waves down as an A okay the B leg is again a flat type of correction as a A B and C and after that B leg is complete we will come down as a 1 2 3 4 5 for the C completing the double bracketed fourth over here so this would be the scenario that can be playing out over here and in the case that this scenario is playing out let's look at possible targets so this would be the starting point of wave A and measuring the length of complete wave A projecting it from the starting point of wave C however I would like to point out that since wave C is not complete right now I will just assume that it is going to complete around 24 10 level okay this is just a rough assumption for calculating a rough scenario so if that is the case then we will be having our targets around this 2330 and 2282 levels basically 161.8 and 100% retracements so that means we will have this fifth leg up till over there then 1 2 3 4 5 something like that coming over downside and uh, so that would be that and uh, this is the hypo 3 let's just uh, conclude what we have discussed overall in this video till now basically hypo 1 was that that we will have a double bracket fourth complete over here this is one this is two progressing up for the third and basically we'll complete somewhere over there and then we'll have fourth and then fifth so basically a lot of upside is remaining in this hypo 1 hypo 2 was uh, that uh, so hypo 2 was that the fourth wave is actually progressing as some kind of a triangle so this would be the A of the triangle it should be completing over here as a B and then will go down as a C then go up as a D and then go down as an E so this would be a very complex formation and will continue for the upcoming days and in that case scenario or hypo 2 
we will have sideways movement for the upcoming days okay hyper one is upwards and the last one is the hypo three which was basically that uh, we were in a complex kind of uh, fourth wave in which the b is a flat in itself so this would be the a this could be the a b c for the b and uh, we should come down as a one two three four five for the c so again sideways to down for the hypo two and uh, hypo three is down so as you can see that basically we have a lot of different possibilities coming over here and uh, obviously option strategies are the best in this kind of scenario but uh, futures trading directly would be a bit riskier from a sync perspective this is a buy on dips market as it has always been since we are in a fourth wave then definitely we can buy for the fifth leg up so this is a buy on dips market and uh, that is all that can be concluded at this point in time these three probabilities are the one that i saw but there are possible ways that this market can play out that i might not have seen at least as of now it can be having even more complex b wave in which the b of the b is flat in itself if you are investor type of guy and would like to go up for the fifth leg or ride the fifth leg up then obviously you can buy on every dip that you can have over here basically you would already be buying on this dip and then this dip and so on so forth that was all i want to discuss in this video and i hope you find it helpful if you did find it helpful then definitely hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and if you would like to learn more from me then i do have a video course on elliot waves link for that is in the description and i'll request you to share the video if possible so that i get more views and more motivation to make such videos so i'll see you in the next one thank you